when it comes to 2017 Dill Nation, it was a very interesting year, especially for gaming. Of course, there's the good, then the bad, and then the ugly. But then we answer the question, who won 2017? Well, in my opinion, that was Nintendo. And that was because of the revolutionary system known as the Nintendo Switch. And when I first heard about this back in 2016 and later on and went at a bleh, at launch and this thing was very interesting to me it, it was not really a home console it was not really like a portable console like a PlayStation portable or a 3DS it was a hybrid console and it was a very interesting concept it's like a tablet stuck together with um two like controllers that became known as the joy cons so i believe that nintendo won this year and they definitely impressed me with the graphics especially in handheld mode and the perform gameplay performance in handheld mode and i i can't really say much about dock mode because it's so good as there as well so anyway Dill nation that's not i'm not here to talk about how good Nintendo was in 2017. I'm really talking about what I'm looking forward to in 2018 when it comes to Nintendo Switch. Like, especially what games that I would especially would like for Nintendo to release in the coming year. Now, the first game on my list for my Nintendo Switch wish list of games is a game that almost everyone would like to see on the Nintendo Switch and that is Grand Theft Auto 5 and yes the argument can be made that there is no way in heck that this game is going to be able to run on the Switch and there's no way that the graphics and the performance are going to be the same on the Switch but if you think about it this this game was released in 2013 and yes there were pop-ins and I'm gonna give you guys a disclaimer right now when it comes to games I'm not all graphic like heavy I'm not all savvy on performance well uh, I kinda am but I want a game that plays well I want a good story I want like good like fun in a game it's like I'm not always into the how good a game looks <coughs> WB 2k but anyway I think the potential selling power of GTA 5 on the Switch would be amazing. Besides, they just released LA Noir on the Switch, but I'm not sure how well that's selling on the Switch. And I played it on the Switch, and it runs really good on the Switch, even on handheld mode. Sure, it can get dark at times, but I, f I feel like it runs really well. But anyway, I feel like GTA 5 on the Switch would be a really huge seller, not just for Rockstar, but for for Nintendo as well because being able to play GTA on the go for the first time since what Chinatown Wars or if you want to count an actual GTA game Vice City Stories then that would be amazing for Nintendo owners so I feel like GTA 5 would be a really really great seller for the Nintendo Switch but of course there are concerns graphics performance maybe even the online part of GTA 5 so there are some things to consider when you want to put when you want to port GTA 5 on the Nintendo Switch so the next game on my wish list is kind of an uh, alternative to GTA 5 if Rockstar somehow can't port over Grand Theft Auto 5 to the Nintendo Switch because of limitations then go with the next best thing go with the trilogy Grand Theft Auto the original trilogy because I would love to play this series over and over and over and over again other than Vice City I hated that game for, for some reason I loved Grand Theft Auto 3 I loved San Andreas those were my childhood games right there I loved the story I loved the gameplay it was just amazing it was so revolutionary and it played up to how Rockstar would continue to 
build upon the Grand Theft Auto series, heading to GTA 4, heading to GTA 5, even beyond. So, being able to play this on the go, especially for people that have somehow haven't played this yet, would be fantastic for the Switch. Another curious game that I would like to see on the Switch would be a WWE All-Star sequel. When I first played WWE All-Stars back on the PSP, it was very interesting to me. Of course, there weren't that many um, match types. Um, there weren't that many like characters, but I liked the gameplay of it. It was like fast arcade style. Um, it Sure, it got repetitive a little bit, but it was just so fun to play over and over again until like I pretty much finished everything. <laughs> And then I played a couple matches here and there, but it was just it was just really fun to play, like on the first couple of go rounds. And so I I would really love to see an updated um, WWE All Star like um, a really cool like All Star sequel with an updated roster, like a huge like roster of current WWE superstars, past WWE legends. Even, and it'd be cool, and it would be cool if they had like newer match types to it so it could be really really interesting and it'd be a nice seller for the Nintendo Switch too so it would be interesting but then like how how will 2k do it because you know it's 2k my next game on this wish list is kind of a two for one and that is soup the Super Mario Galaxy series now um, I'm not sure if the Nintendo is gonna release this anytime soon but because of um, Super Mario Odyssey and but it would be nice if they did and it, it doesn't have to be like a big release it could just be on um, oh let's just put it on the eShop just announce it for the eShop and then like give it two weeks for them to put it out there it could be like a remaster of the two games because I love Super Mario Odyssey or yeah, not Super Mario Odyssey Super Mario Galaxy as a kid it was, it was just so fun to play I loved the story Sure, there wasn't really much to do after other than play as Luigi and collect more stars. But it was just so fun to play. I love like the the galaxy, the outer space setting. It was just so fun to play. It made me rage so hard, but in a good way. Um, it's like the only concern that I would have for a Super Mario Galaxy s series on the Switch uh, remaster is like the use of motion controls. It's like how would they because when it was released on the Wii, it relied so much on motion controls. So I'm wondering how Nintendo would plan on using those same motion controls for the Nintendo Switch if they plan to do a Super Mario Galaxy release in 2018 or maybe in the near future. Now, this is an interesting one because of their current situation. This game on my wish list is Madden NFL. Well, Madden NFL. <laughs> I would love to see Madden NFL on the Nintendo Switch so I could play football games on the go. But it's you know who it's developed by, right? Yes, you guessed correctly, EA. And yes, if you know, don't know by by now already, EA is in a lot of deep trouble because Star Wars Battlefront 2 loot box controversy you know the drill by now so it's gonna and of course with the FIFA sales and Nintendo or no not Nintendo EA was not impressed by how the switch was on FIFA and in general and that kinda disappoints me with EA they're just not impressed so and I may be wrong on that. They they might explore Madden on the Switch. Not maybe not in 2018, but maybe later on. It's, hopefully they'll change their minds. So, but I would love to see Madden on the Switch because who wouldn't want to play football games on the go or maybe even at a football game? That would be really cool to do. So, I I don't know. It's just an amazing like appeal for. For, few, for Switch owners too, because like, not everyone has a PS4, not everyone has an Xbox One. So, you're basically leaving like, Switch owners in the dust by not having Madden NFL on the Switch. So, oh, those people can play it on the go 
and in docked mode as well. And in general, you're just at least they have Madden on the Switch. The next game I would like to see a studio or a game ported on to the Nintendo Switch is the South Park series. I love South Park. I loved watching South Park as a like since I was a kid. And I loved playing the first game in the South Park series, which was the Stick of Truth on my PC, even though it doesn't run as well on the PC. So, like the potential for a South Park series on the Nintendo Switch to play on the go would be massive as well as the mentioned that as well as the games that I mentioned before. Because I think the, the company that makes um, Nintendo Switch games, Ubisoft, I'm, I'm not sure what the relationship with Nintendo is as well, with like Switch games and what whatever. Again, I'm not all that businessy and techy and stuff. <laughs> so I'm just here to wish. <laughs> but anyway, I, I would love to see this because, as you as you can tell, Mario and Rabbids, that was created by Ubisoft, Nintendo. That that sold pretty well. That's a game I still have yet to play, and it's actually surprisingly doing pretty well. So maybe. Ubisoft and Nintendo can work out a way to get South Park onto the Nintendo Switch. And it, plus, Nintendo is already diversifying its like age range. Because remember with the Wii U and the Wii, it was targeting like the the preteens and uh, the kids. Now it's targeting all age ranges. So hopefully we get to see South Park on the Switch. I love the the story of the sick of truth and I've yet to try the fractured butthole <laughs> oh my gosh that sounds so weird every time I say it so I've yet to try the fractured butthole it, and I heard that game is pretty good as well so I hope we get to see a switch version sometime soon this one's kind of a a weird yet silly one and this is um gang beast um, if you don't know what Gang Beast is, it's kind of like a silly, over-the-top, um, throw, over, yeah, over-the-top, like, I don't know how to describe it. Kind of like a wrestling, like, type of game. It's not really a wrestling game, it's just like, you throw your, throw other people off a map, and then you win the game. It's like a party game, sort of. It's, it's kind of hard for me to describe, but you can search it up later. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, but it was recently released on PlayStation 4, and it's been in development for a while, like for a while now. And as I said before, it's been it just released on the PlayStation 4. But I read a, I read recently that the comp, the developer that made Gang Beast has considered like making a an Nintendo Switch like port. But I may be wrong. But it. If they did, that would be that would be pretty cool. I I would love to play Gang Beast. I've seen like a couple YouTubers play Gang Beast, and the game looks amazingly fun. I I would love to play that game because it's just so silly. It's so funny to play, and it's just like it. Everyone would have a good time like at my family parties playing it because it's just so fun and silly. So hopefully. It, it, it gets on the Nintendo Switch, and maybe that company and developer will consider it. So, hopefully we get to see Gang Beast soon. What can you say about Mortal Kombat? Do you like to fight? Because I'm pretty sure on the Nintendo Switch, I would like to fight some people. Because if you would like Mortal Kombat on the Nintendo Switch, I'm sure as heck I would. Because that's a lot of potential right there too. Because... I remember playing Mortal Kombat 10, and of course, I sucked at it. <laughs> and it was just amazing. And also, I played previous like Mortal Kombat like like games. And when I think about the Switch now, I think if you like release a new Mortal Kombat game or maybe a Mortal Kombat like 10 remaster on the Nintendo Switch, it'd be like really interesting. I'm and how it would sell on the Nintendo Switch, like, like e probably today or in the next year. So, but it would be a nice like seller because playing Mortal Kombat on the go for the first time since what Mortal Kombat Unchained 
which is pretty much uh, basically a Mortal Kombat Deception port onto the PlayStation Portable. But having a Mortal Kombat 10 port on the Nintendo Switch, or maybe even a new Mortal Kombat game on the Switch, would be amazing. Everyone, like almost everyone, would buy that on the Switch, especially for those that haven't played Mortal Kombat yet and are waiting for something on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, of course, graphics, performance, all that comes into consideration. And yeah, and the last game I would like to talk about here in this video is a game that I have really become interested in, and that is Super Mario Maker. This is a game that I've seen a lot of people especially a lot of like um, youtubers play and this was released on the Wii U originally and I did not have a Wii U and it was released on the 3DS and I did not play that either so it would be really interesting how it would how it would go on the Nintendo Switch because it relies mostly on touch screen but of course I think it would do well because Nintendo it we, we use that touch screen like a lot like many Nintendo Switch owners use touch screen even myself so I think the potential for a Super Mario remake or Super Mario Maker remake on the Nintendo Switch would be would be flat out cool to see so and plus it sold really well on on the Nintendo Wii U and a lot of like create like a lot of players would upload their stuff, like upload their stages online, and and just imagine for the Nintendo Switch how how amazing that would be to relive that all over again, especially for first time players like myself. Nintendo, the potential is there. Super Mario Maker remastered, maybe in 2018, 2019. Think about it. Anyway, Dill Nation, that's all for this um, Nintendo Switch wish list video. Um. If you didn't think I didn't go into enough detail into my wish list, then I do apologize uh, again. I'm not, I'm not too into like tech or hardware or graphics when it comes to gaming. All I care about is how the games like perform, especially when it comes to gameplay. I want a good game that has a good story and how it could play well. There are a lot of good games that look good but don't play well and we can discuss that in the comments below so if you guys have any like wish list of Nintendo Switch games that you would like to see in the near future by Nintendo leave that in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like comment share subscribe follow me on Twitter and Instagram those links will be in the description below and yeah as I said before the future is bright for Nintendo and Nintendo Switch the potential is there, and yeah, we're just getting started with the Nintendo Switch, and the future is bright for that system. And Dill Nation, always be delicious. I'll see you guys in the next video.